All right. Now, maybe this time it'll work. Not the camera, just me having everything. Uh, I don't have a tamper because we had company earlier and my wife uh, looks at my ashtray as an eyesore. And so it was hidden away from me. And um, I found it, but the tamper wasn't in there. So I don't know where the tamper's at. Great. So I have this to tamp with. This is a uh, one of those little tubes that those CAO cigarillo things come in. Um, I don't even know why I have this thing. It's empty. I don't know where that came from. Uh, we've talked about the beer. This beer is awesome. We'll get you some of the beer. Um, anyway, let's light this sucker up. This is, uh, you know how like some tobaccos are like, hmm. Some tobaccos are like, hmm. Some tobaccos are like, oh. Yeah. This is uh, in the, in the uh, latter class. This has actually been one of my longtime favorites. It's, um, Solani's 127, the green label. It's an aromatic. I'm not a huge aromatic fan. Um, and I'm definitely not a huge apple fan. But this stuff, if you've tried this and you don't like it, go ahead and punch yourself in the face. Then run on down to the store, pick up some more, and try again. Because you were doing it wrong. It's awesome. To the max. Um, this is uh, Les Wood's work here. This is a fern down. Okay. I have to send two packages. Uh, Wandering Recluse has been waiting on his package for three weeks. I don't know, man. I'm um, one of those guys. I don't do trades or anything weird like that, so it's just me sending out tobacco, you know? If I'm not taking a trade, then I'm not obligated to provide good service. Um, so, these are just kind of samples uh, for some friends of mine and... Uh, And so that's what we're going to do here, if I can find them. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. That's the tobacco you ask about. You got plenty there. Uh, I mean, at least an ounce and a half, probably. This is uh, one of those little humidifier deals. I am going to rehydrate this a little bit because I pulled this out of the back of the cellar and because uh, I didn't have any open. I gave what I had open away to the Southeastern Pipe Conference thing. This is aged pretty good though, but uh, the bulk tends to, be, tends to be dry when you get it and uh, a little dry. Not, not that dry. Um, and uh, I just packed it dry into the cellar. I didn't try rehydrating it or anything before I was going to age it. So I'll put a little thing in there to hydrate it up for you so it'll be nice and soft when you get it. But I mean, 
I've had it straight out of the tin and I've had it this way too, rehydrated a little bit off the bulk and they taste exactly the same. Which is weird because most tobaccos do taste a little different. But Samuel Thomas tends to uh, maintain flavor uh, across its bulk and its tin. Um, I've had a few of their different blends in both and they do a real good job of consistency across the two different platforms. And then this is a tobacco that looks, smells, and tastes exactly like Squadron Leader. I included it because it's readily available. I'm not going to announce the name here because uh, I want to keep it readily available. Um, it Actually, it smells a little bit different than Squadron Leader. I don't think it has a lot of Kia in it. But the defining uh, flavor characteristic of the Squadron Leader is its Orientals. And the Orientals in this blend are exactly the same. So, if you can't get Squadron Leader and you love it, smoke this other stuff. I'd be ex impressed if you could uh, tell the difference in a blind smoke. So, there you go. I'll send that off to you. Print the postage and put it on there and get it out to you, the wandering recluse. Okay, this is for Ken. Uh, he wanted to try some of my favorite. Uh, Virginia's so I'm gonna do that I gave you a bunch of my favorite Virginia's and then just some small samples I mean some of them get you a few bowls uh, you'll get at least three bowls out of each except for this one this was the last I had to empty my tin man so I went to the deep cellar to pull some more out and I am completely out of this this is all I got in the house this is one of my favorites um, so you, you'll get at least a bowl maybe two bowls out of that maybe probably just a bowl use a smaller pipe and get two bowls out of it Solani 633, it's a Virginia Perique. It is phenomenal, and um, it's in my uh, it's in my top. The rest of these you'll be able to get, you know, a, a pretty good amount. Yeah, it's probably an ounce. Probably get, uh, and that's about what I put in each one of them there. So you get at least three, four bowls out of each. Give you a good idea of them. So anyway, I'll give you quite. Uh, I got a, quite an array here. Uh, just the straight Virginias, of course, full Virginia flake. There's quite a good bit of that in there. You probably get four or five bowls of that. You know, this is going to be your staple. Smoke this first, smoke it slow. Uh, this stuff is the number one rated tobacco on tobacco reviews for a reason. It's the number one tobacco in the universe. Um, this will be your cat. This will be your, you know, your your rating point. Hold on, let me get Sam out of the porch. Oh, there you go, buddy. That'll be your basis to score all the others. Um. So that's the Solani and the Full Virginia Flake. Okay, uh, more just straight Virginias. Dunhill Royal Yatch. I wasn't a fan of this very much. You may like it pretty well. Um, I don't give it a try. This has got some age on it now. A few months. Um, every now, one, that's another thing too. All of these Virginias are aged at minimum six months, except for this one. Um, so they're not going to be typical out of the store flavor there. Uh, this Wessex Sovereign, I'm just going to make this video for everybody to give you a little info on these blends so you might want to try them yourselves. Wessex Sovereign was originally an attempt to make a copy of uh, Three Nuns. It's, it's actually pressed the same way, it's the small dime size coins and that sort of thing. Never had Three Nuns. This gets rave reviews though and it is really good. It, it's a Virginia Perique. Uh, oh, I was just doing regular Virginias. This is uh, Peter Stokelby's Luxury Twist Flake. It's straight Virginia. It's really good. This has got a year and a couple months on it. About 14 months on it. Uh, and then I, I crack it today. Give you a little bit. And I was going to bring some out for me too. Uh oh No, no, no. No, 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 buddy. Don't touch that, bud. I'm not finished with it. 
So in here, look, look at this. Woo, check that out. That's pretty cool, huh? Check this out. Here, there you go. Uh, now this is uh, Peter Stokelby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. This is a vapor uh, with some uh, some uh, Cavendish in it. It's good, I made a video about it. You can check that out, it's pretty rocking stuff. Uh, this is um, Dunhill's Early Morning Pipe. It's an Oriental, Virginia. Phenomenal smoke. And then this is uh, an interesting thing. Um, you might like this, you may not like it. I don't know, but I, I just wanted to include it because it's kind of a, hmm, I don't have any Red Virginias. Uh, that aren't that are ready to open so great because uh, all I have is uh, 5100 that I got like two months ago and I wasn't going to open that I ordered some of that uh, uh, the red wrappery and I, got, I also ordered some of uh, How to Win and so I, uh, I probably put uh, the Halloween in the cellar and smoke that uh, wrappery because I'm craving this stuff. It was good. But this is uh, Cornell and Dale's Autumn Evening, and it's uh, it's an aromatic. Yes, the Cavendish is like this. Um, it's a unique process that they do with uh, with Red Virginias, and it's. Um, I don't know. It's a maple topping on it. It's not crazy. The, ca the, the, ca the casting is not crazy. It doesn't make it gooey or anything, but it's just kind of weird, man. Um, you can try it out and see what you think. But, anyway, I will get these things in the mail uh, tomorrow, I hope. Unless, you know, I don't. But I plan on it, anyway. And let you guys, uh... Give those things a try. See what you think. And, uh... I believe you'll like them. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you don't like them. Anyway. God bless you and I hope you have a wonderful day.